thing when it says park assist. Doesn't have it. Convertible roof. I don't see no convertible roof, do you? Cold in, cold in, cold in. So this bad boy is now programming. And by that, I don't mean coding, I mean full on programming. To get rid of this issue here with this brake system, drive moderately convertible roof. Basically, the issue is that the combi, which is the instrument cluster, it's not coded. Uh, according to the customer, all he did, and I believe him, is he changed the language from, from Finnish to English, and then they can't change it back. And then all these errors started, so I've had to program it. And I believe the guy, because he's, he's quite an elderly gentleman, really nice man. I can't imagine he's actually been playing around with Bimmer code. I'd be very surprised. I mean, I could be wrong, but customers don't always tell us what, what's really gone on, but I very much doubt it. And I'd, I'd like to know if that's the case, if he hasn't been playing with it, why has it suddenly decided, you know, to start? All this is now because it's being programmed, but this this is how it came to me this morning. It just, he just changed the language to English and all this chaos started. So, I mean, look, I ain't got a convertible roof. Well, it's just, it's an estate car, for God's sake. So, yeah, but... I could have used a new Think Tool, but it's probably faster just to use yesterday, you know. So we'll see how we get on with this. Hopefully we'll rectify it. Then the horns don't work, but I don't need to make a video of that because I've done loads of them in the past. So it's going into its programming phase now. Probably erasing the, the boot loader and everything in the file and reflashing it. That's why there's no signal. This is actually, I think, connected to this with an Apex cable. I can't remember the layout, the architecture, but let's see how we get on. Well, it's all back to normal now. Everything's looking quite tasty. Yeah. Don't play with Coldy. So I got myself a really nice Z3 here. And uh, at first glance it seems complicated because the f the first of all, Think Tool didn't even find the module. I had to use AutoLogic. Thanks old faithful, never forget you. So we'll address that problem later. But the, compli the issue seems to be a little bit complex now there's no wiring diagrams available for bit from bmw because the car's so old so i've had to google it so i'll switch over to what i'm what i've found so far i've been on it about 40 minutes and i think i've got somewhere already probably going to be corrosion or something let's have a look at diagrams and i'll walk you through it so this got gets like weirder and weirder this is for the control unit in the vehicle and rightly so We've got a terminal 30 power supply for the relay. And of course, 87 we don't have because the relay controls that, right? See, it's just a ground. Now, the weird thing about the bloody ABS module, which is really weird, is that I don't have a terminal 30. It's exactly the same wiring location and everything. Look, terminal 30, negative, but terminal 87 we've got so it's like the wiring's been crossed over is it possible that's happened because that to me i need to pull this off now and look at the um colors of the wires really if i can do that or look you know see what's going on kind of thing i should should be able to trace the colors from from this harness here which is which is going onto this uh onto this unit because that's what it's moaning about it's moaning about the solenoid valves here have got the wrong power supply or something well there's something queer going on i wonder if someone's been messing with this well, that's certainly what the issue is anyway, definitely. So on this system, it's a bit weird in the sense that it's not possible to bypass it. The output goes onto this uh, red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow, there's two. And they're the solenoid power supplies. Um, it's not possible to bypass it because that really also powers the coil of the ASC relay. The ASC relay does two things, essentially. As far as I can make out, it's for the pump motor. I just activated on it, it, the pump motor worked, and I think it's for the power supply for the control unit as well. So, yeah, yeah that's done. It's a good old fashioned system, and once it's up and running again, it should be fine. So, we've ordered one, and we'll resume this once the new relay comes and hopefully fixes the problem and gets rid of that issue and gets rid of that issue so in the end it turns out that we've got a really high resistance in the coil which is why it kept tripping my uh, power probe when i tried to use it so that's uh, that mystery solved and it's a really weird weird one as like a twin terminals <coughs> excuse me 
We don't have any of them in stock, unfortunately. I do have another one here, which I will This is a standard air conditioning compressor we have an F11, and that's the sort of value you should be seeing, essentially. So, that's that problem solved. And thanks to uh, Google for the wiring diagrams, I suppose. Oh, we've got our new wheel there. Let's see what the resistance across this coil is. Should be 90 ohms, maybe. We'll soon find out, won't we? I'm hoping this is going to cure our little problem. If it's not, I'm going to be in deep trouble. <laughs> so, where are we? 85, 86 coil. There we are. Let's have a look. Yeah, 88 ohms. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's great. So that's probably going to fix our issue. I reckon. Let's find out, shall we? There's our lovely shiny new really ABS. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Tyco Electronics, good brand. A double relay, one normally open, one normally closed. That will fix our lovely Z3. Right, so I think what I'll do is I'll just suck it and see with this one. I'll uh, basically just take out the old one, which is not in good shape. I need to put the holder back in properly. It's difficult because it goes kind of from underneath, which is not so good. And we'll put our nice new relay in. Can't go the wrong way. Pins are all certain, staggered a certain way. And the proof of the pudding, I suppose, is will it uh, at least will the light go out kind of thing. Well, that's now in. So we'll now connect our auto logic up. See what's going on with that. And everyone's happy kind of thing. So I'll go and set the logic up and we'll resume. So there we are. Problem solved. Bit of a voltage drop on starting though, isn't it? But either way, it's solved. Now a quick roll test because it mentioned moaning about some wheel speed sensor, so we need to now check the um, check if it works really on the road kind of thing. So follow me on for a nice roll test and let's check it out. I'm as happy as Nampens. A good roll test that. Really happy with it. Guy will be happy as well. There's nothing worse than these old cars when you've got very little information to go off. No manuals anymore in BMW systems. Just too old. Was it 96, 97? It's a bit weird, really, because the one I had the other day with the steering column, steering angle sensor change, it was older, a year older, horrible looking American one. Not a very nice looking car. Not looked after like this is a beautiful one. It really looks after this one. But it had like an integrated module, like what you've got on all modern cars, you know. And this one's nicer and it seems much nicer inside, but it has a really old fashioned system. But never never mind, it's, it works just the same. It's just the modules on the glove box and the pump and everything. And the solenoid anti-lock assembly, the hydraulic assembly, should I say, is in the bonnet area. It just goes to show you that a simple relay can just stop everything working. And it's a double relay, so one's normally open, one's normally closed in terms of the contacts. So basically, there's another relay, ASC relay, it relies on this relay also as well, if you look at wiring diagrams, so it's a bit unusual. Anyway, as Shabula Jackson always said, better fixed than not fixed. And one day I'll tell you who Shibula Jackson is. You'll find out in probably in, in the next couple of episodes. Don't forget to subscribe, everyone. Actually, I'm not that bothered really, just watch the videos is enough for me. Uh, I've had like nearly 80,000 views since I started it a couple of months ago. <coughs> not, excuse me, not bad that really, is it? But uh, we'll see if we can break out into the mainstream. Right, I've got to go. I'm going to have my dinner. I'm tired. Friday today. Shopping day. Oh, Norwegian Airlines. Brilliant. Plain Spotters Paradise. See you all later.